Hey everyone, down here from the Tebo Concept going on racing, but where today we're inside of the race shop. If we're gonna be going onto the tracks, I'm probably not sure that we're gonna be doing to do this. So let's see the settings from over here. We have always gonna be putting the shadows on and we have to set around the credits around here, so this is absolutely the game creator is probably the number 40 and for the actual game measures and improvements my by friends for this absolutely to do this I'm probably not sure the schemes from the NR2003 DMR Cup and BRC I'm probably the 2012 it's gonna be the NASCAR inside line sound effects from the game and music from I'm probably sure this isn't going to be infringing for something like itself so we're gonna be roaming for the first time as we're gonna be to see around here and let's just going to give ourselves to get onto the racetrack and I'm not gonna be going into the track as well so let's go into some other kinds of these things we have two tracks available we're going to Daytona and Dover as well I'm probably not sure that we're gonna be going into the menu itself to do this as well so we're starting to get around to Dover as well and probably let's give ourselves into the room. Let's just head out. Let's roam the shop and let's just go into be increasing the volume and let's just get over here. I'm Ray Evernham, your crew chief and guide for the game. I'm here to show you the ropes. And yep, that is absolutely probably he was. And because of this, some sort of a, some sort of a one song of to do this, because we never able that opinion to heard about, and we just try to roam about for this thing. So, if I'm gonna be pausing the roam menu as well, to the track, I guess we cannot directly going back into the shop because unfortunately we're not gonna be doing I say to do this. So that lead me to Dover, I guess, into the random track. This is something like a number four over here. There are the NPCs everywhere. See, each event on the schedule appears on the left. Yes, appear on to the left is absolutely going to be right over here. And why there is no bartender over here? This is the exit where you just kicked out of the game. And probably and that we just going to be never that I just swear. Now over here is another one and I'm probably not sure that we just said this is not the office. This is not in my office as well. This is someone that's absolutely going to be owning itself. There's another exit. We can't just go up here and this is absolutely for another big office for us as I say. So we never going to be pretty what did you want. The cafeteria area is probably over here. Some sort of other kinds of taking a tour inside of its garage. You probably this is the title of the game inside line. And another thing is there's another exit. And what about the bartender over here for just some sort of a working lines over here? There's the NPC sitting on the wrong position of their hands up. And let's just get right up here. The cafeteria area and I'm not sure you're allowed to exiting out of the track as well so we just gonna be going to came up over here the music just changed it over here and that isn't his office anyways so we just still absolutely went up here and I'm not gonna be very sure that isn't gonna be quite such as a little bit quickly so not over here is absolutely still roaming all over the top that must be seen around NPCs over here so if that only the rules must sure not to do don't hang out with some sort of an NPCs you can't just jump out of here and probably that we never able to sit about so that's the tour for the upside or some sort of like this things and I'm probably sure that you cannot able to go just out of here as well so on to the meanwhile I'm pretty sure that I just gonna be zooming out and nobody is probably here so we cannot just gonna get out of here anyways 
because it's nothing since then there must be nothing here in that room over here we can't go to the exits as well because this is where you kicked out anyways so that is the tour inside of that garage and probably let's get onto the track and we're gonna be seeing this why and we're just gonna be on full scale of the volume as well let's so get a good solid run today bud no unnecessary risk just drive it like you know you can and this is where that we're in the infield garage let's see the settings over here we still need to use some sort of a shadows on and we have seen the, the images as well and probably the absolutely to do for the NR3 creators about here so we can't go to the race shop and let us begin racing over here so here's this garage and this is absolutely that where just I spawn over here so we have the cars available and the time is absolutely day as we're gonna be spawning the cars over here let's start in Dover so we have some sort of official drivers I'm gonna be picking up Greg Biffle over here so when it's gonna be the using the number 16 I'm probably let's just gonna be, be sure this is the number 43 over here and looks like you remember of these old drivers ouch that wasn't going to get inside so this is the inside of the car and probably I'm not sure that the the fuel gauge or some sort of the RPM gauge will be probably to do this so I cannot believe the background sound effects which sounds like real NASCARs but there's nothing all over here this is a multiplayer game and probably we should be able to get onto the pits and we're ready to go just by refueling over here so this is absolutely gonna be starting to do this I cannot believe we're gonna be inside of the onboard view so we cannot just getting onboard view and looks like let's just do this for all over here to just, just start over here and we're ready so if you're just gonna be going inside to the onboard view just press C to change awesome view guys. Great teamwork. like I said we got a real good car here just take care of so let's just get all over to do this by itself to 167 miles an hour and be careful not to overheat the engine and which is currently if you just gonna be hitting the gas too long and probably the engine could might be able to overheat and and cause a blowout over to do this will not cause for a blown engine and looks like the lap time has just started so the lap time has just begun and looks like we're going to begin around here or something so it's not going to be just as necessary as well as before we're going to be hitting to 200 miles per hour all the way I'm not sure that we're always hitting the walls itself oh dear we just keep it on hitting the walls and probably tapping itself for just too much lap number three I'm very not sure this isn't going to be making towards a dude like this 175 miles an hour I really don't think this is going to be kilometers an hour and the speed is gonna be making things a little bit very sure but come too fast I have to start braking itself to do this so this is gonna be a little bit very slow and not fast as miles per hour so we are still gonna be going all the way down here and this is going to be a little bit very hurt that it's just going to be using the number 38 car and you know it's such as David Gilliand Gilliland as probably that we just know his name we cannot reach up to 200 miles an hour as we just blasted all the way into 197 miles an hour it's not going to be almost there and it's gonna be almost too close this is so close to one 200 miles an hour 
I think the engine is overheating itself. And now this is 200 miles an hour. That is all ready to do that we just eventually try to set. We can't just overtaking other kinds of drivers. And it's not going to be that fast. Let's just get to be into the experiment. And looks like the car is absolutely started to get out of control. And not that mentioned to do this for the lap number six. You can use your primary arrows that you're going to be completing in this lap. It's two laps to go. And we're probably... It's going to be overheating the engine itself for at once. So, we're not going for spectate until we're not going to be doing this right here. It's not going to be done. If I'm just going to be pressing C, that disables the primary controls on your computer. So, it's going to be for its final lap. I cannot believe this is going to be really hard to just go into turn. And I'm not sure, according to the chassis, this is some sort of, for the praise, stock car racing tires. As we probably know that rims that you notice about there. So, according to these rims, I'm not sure that the praise stock racing physics is going to be doing so. As we're just going to be going into the pits. As we continue to overheating the engines. Maybe we should be able to blow itself up. Until 10 laps we're going to be doing this. That we just absolutely going to be ever planned. But not to worry. That we're just going to be going around here. So if you just keep it on going on the gas. I'm not sure the engine is going to be overblown. And completely overhauled for itself. Let's just completely back into the pits. And I just missed it. Of course, we have 1190 milliliters. We're good to go about for this thing as well. So, looks like the engine is under cooldown. And if I just step out of the vehicle, the vehicle despawns itself. So, that is going to be the end of this video for the 8 lap trial. And we're very not sure that you're using for the math cancer as well. So, that will be wrapping up for today's video until I'm not sure there must be a podium on the track I mean inside that track and nothing as well the infield track as well so we cannot go in for the lap times but we got our first corner cut itself eventually that I just jump out of the vehicle looks like we cannot just absolutely to do so. The fastest lap times will be 30.017. That was a little bit of cheats. And we're not very sure this is going to be for a count less as well. Because we just eventually got two corner cuts as well. And probably that should be the end of this video. If you like for today's actual video of to do this for the NASCAR inside line and probably this is this trophy as well we probably inside of that racing track as well. So thanks for watching for all your support and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and click the bell and the game is link in the description down below and we'll probably see you into the next video and I just stumped the car onto the hood as well. So. I'll be seeing NASCAR fans all later, and this is going to be Turbo Concept is signing off.